Hello and welcome. It's me, Marls44, and welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown battle. Today we got another fifth gen OU battle. Now this third fifth gen battle uh, is against my buddy Scritchblade again, but the next two are not against him. They were against random opponents that I found on the Showdown server while searching for opponents, and they turned out to be very good battles, both of them. Um, so those will be right after this one. You know, just in case you might be a little tired of me fighting him. But don't worry, there's only one more of these battles uh, with him that I have on record that I'm planning to record. And they are after the two with those two random players. You know, just so you guys know. Um, but this was a pretty solid battle. Uh, <laughs> I, love, I love this team. It's such a wacky team that I made. Um, but I love what it does and what it's capable of doing and everything. So Scourge Blade is, you know, sporting the same uh, rain team as last time. He he really loves this team, honestly, with the um, um, Monchamp, with the Dynamic Punch, along with the rain mixture um, and, you know, Salamence. He, he really seems to love this team. This is one of the teams I see him use the most. Um, and it's understandable. It's a very fun team. <laughs> But looking at my team, I got my Life Orb Mamoswine, my Choice Scarfed Axorus, my Magnet Pull uh, Substitute Steel Type Destroyer Magnezone. So, you know, that Magnezone just for the sole purpose of destroying the Steel Types, so your uh, Dragon Types can just reign supreme. And then we got my Substitute Gengar with three attacks, and my Physical Wall Dawn Fan, and my Special Wall Gyarados. So it's a pretty wacky team, but it also has some interesting uh, tools to it, and I've had a lot of fun with this team. It, <laughs> it's so much fun, and I've screwed up a lot with this team too, because it's very easy to mess up. It's not the most traditional team I'm used to. Uh, the most traditional team is like a standard, here's your sweepers, here's your walls, here's the tank, that's it. But it's very good to branch out, and uh, I've been branching out a lot, trying you know a bunch of different things. And this is one of those teams that I uh, really found my way uh, along, you know, branching out. And I like that, and I'm glad I'm able to do that. And, uh, you know, it, it could get boring if you just see the standard teams, even though they're different Pokemon. So I hope you guys enjoy that, uh, that I'll also be, like, branching out. Because the past two teams were fairly standard that I used. Especially the first one was <laughs> so freaking standard. Anywho, without further ado, let's jump into it. Alrighty, so I'm gonna start off with Haxorus, because Choice Scarf is fun to start with. Um, he'll start off with Politoed. I throw out the Aqua Tail, expecting the Fortress Switch, because, you know, outrage. Mind games. Um, but no, he, he just uh, goes for the Toxic to try to poison something, to try to poison Haxorus. Um, he wanted to get him poisoned, which was a good idea. Um, uh, and, uh, yeah, I'll switch into Magnezone. I went for the substitute, expecting the switch again, because why wouldn't he? But no, he throws out the Scald. Seems like he knew exactly what I was doing there, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> my HP was a little lower because of it. I'll throw out the Charge Beam, but he switches, gets the Volt Absorb on, um, Jolteon, and I'll have to throw out Dawn Fan at this point. Um, and he goes for his HP, um, uh, it's ice, actually. I found out it was ice during this battle, and I remember I was like, "Wait, isn't it grass? It was grass the last time. He must have switched it, or that was a different team. I don't know." Anyways, uh, that's how I found out. I switched into Haxorus and took so much damage. Um, unfortunately, he misclicked on the thunder because Don Fan should have died. Uh, that's also why I went for Ice Shard, though. So it was only a tiny bit of damage, so it's okay. But like, Don Fan should have died. Anyways, I'll uh, kill him with the earthquake. As I die from the poison, I'll get my Gengar in, get the substitute. Fortunately, the Focus Blast doesn't hit, which can't, which kind of sucks. Honestly, it's okay. It's just, it sucks. <laughs> I can use Magnezone to beat Fortress, yeah. but anyways, I'll throw the Shadow Ball out uh, as he switch, switches into Jelly Scent, um, and he'll break my substitute with Scald. I'll just throw another Shadow Ball at him. Boom, dead. Nice. Uh, now, right here, I forgot his. Dragonite was Scarfed. Um, I, for some reason, I thought it was Life Orb. Uh, I knew it was Scarfed, though, but I forgot it was... I forgot it was Scarfed. I knew it was Scarfed, but I thought it was Life Orb. I don't know. I don't know what happened. My brain. <laughs> so, I get crunched. 
my Gengar. Um, I'll throw in Mammoth Swine, get, uh, and I'll throw the Ice Shard out, hoping to do a lot to um, Salamance, but then, you know, Politoed will come in the rocks, kill Politoed. Uh, but then, here comes Fortress, and, and I killed him with Earthquake and then Ice Shard, but he got a rapid spin off. There go the rocks that were on his field. Uh, anyways, caught up with where we are now, he'll get the sub up, uh, throw out the stone edge, I'm kinda like, crap, okay, this is bad, this is bad, I don't want Monchap to have a sub up, uh, so I'll throw out, um, my Magnazone to sacrifice him, so I can get that T-Bolt off, uh, and then throw out my Mamoswine, uh, so I can just try to kill him, unfortunately, the Icicle, sh uh, crash did not kill him, I was hoping it would do more. I was kind of thinking, oh crap, should I have, could I have used Earthquake instead? I don't think that would have killed him either though, unfortunately. And I'll throw in Dawn Fan. Uh, he'll get Dynamic Punched, get confused, but luckily, I'm not hurt by confusion. I'll get the Earthquake off, and boom, down goes Monchamp. But, sadly for me, I'll throw in Salamance, and uh, I had Ice Shard. And I'm not sure if Ice Shard would have killed. I, I don't think it would have, but it's quad super effective, so might have. And Don Fan's attack is, you know, pretty decent. It's it's not bad at all. Um, it's not like amazing, but it's not bad. Like, it could do quite a bit of damage with a super effective hit. So, and I mean it destroyed Monchap with an earthquake, so I don't I don't know. Uh so I don't know if that would have finished him, but I hurt myself in confusion, so he got to earthquake me and yeah, so that's that's the battle. Uh there was a lot going on there. Uh, <laughs> sorry if I couldn't keep up at one point. Uh, it was a bit of a messy battle, but a very close messy battle. Um, there were a lot of kind of mind games in a way going on, especially with my own mind tricking me, because for some reason I didn't remember he was Choice Scarfed and I thought he was like Life Orb. And I'm like, oh crap. Um, <laughs> so that screwed up my Gengar a lot, or else I would have switched out. Um, so, that kind of sucked. That kind of sucked. Or, uh, my Gengar. Because it could have turned out a little differently. Could have been a little closer. I don't know. But, uh, that was a pretty close battle. Uh, Dawn Fan almost clutched it for me. That was, that was pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, we both had our fair share of, uh, interesting moments there. But, uh, both of us played, you know, fairly well. So, not really too much... To go off of this battle, we kind of both threw away all of our Pokemon fairly quickly. Um, we didn't really go for that many reads or anything. I, I mean, after my first few reads, I was kind of like, uh, yeah, I was I was trying to read as hard anymore. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was more of just like go go go, just just a fairly quick uh, battle, but very close, very good. Uh, a little messy though, but it happens. But you know, we we know each other, so uh, all that plays into effect all the time. Anywho, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. And uh, remember, if you would like to challenge me, go ahead and challenge me in fifth gen or fourth gen. And if you want to challenge me in any other gen, uh, just wait till I stream on Twitch, and you can challenge me on any gen there because i stream showdown a lot on twitch so that is all we'll catch you guys next time